Hello you guys, this is Ben, otherwise known as Vertigo here, with another video, um, and this is going to be a short and specific video. I'm just going to go over how to anti-alias in P3D, and uh, there are several options, I believe four, that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so I'm going to cover, I guess, three of those four, because one of those four is, from what I understand, pretty rarely used. Um, uh, I don't have any experience with it, and quite frankly, I'm not totally sure how to do this fourth option, which I will speak of later, um, so it would be irresponsible of me to give advice. I can just kind of point you in the right direction. So let's start with these four options. This will be a very short video, but hopefully a helpful one. Uh, as always, if you have any questions at the end of this, please ask, and I'll do my best to answer. So, option number one is simply to use the uh, anti-aliasing available in SIM. Now, if you see MSAA, this is uh, essentially under image and texture quality. This is your anti-aliasing, and you can use, uh, you can have none, you can have two samples, four samples, eight samples, um, and you can select this within the simulator itself. Um, However, the issue is, and this is why people often use one of these other options, uh, th this anti-aliasing out of the box is not very good, and you still have a lot of aliasing. Uh, shimmery, jaggy things, uh, the sim doesn't look particularly uh, good with it, and in a lot of cases, uh, areas that need to be fairly sharp in order and crisp to look good do not. Um, and, and so... This is obviously available to you, uh, and depending on your hardware, it might be the only viable option. Uh, eight samples isn't terrible, but it isn't great. So option one, simply pick this within the sim, two, four, eight, or none, uh, and use whatever this, uh, this multi-sample anti-alias gives you. Um, now, texture filtering, from what I understand, doesn't uh, do a lot of anti-aliasing. It doesn't affect the aliasing in the sim. Uh, and I've tweaked this or messed with this a little bit, and yeah, you don't notice uh, shimmers or jagged uh, edges and so forth disappearing with the use of texture filtering. Um, you're welcome to, to mess with that as you see fit, but I don't think you're overly concerned about this when it comes to anti-aliasing. You're just looking at MSAA. So, option one, simply set something in the sim. And that's that. That's option one. Option two is to use NVIDIA Inspector. Now, I'm sure most of you, or a lot of you, are doing this now. Be warned that uh, if you're using sparse grid super sampling in NVIDIA Inspector, that is going to ask a lot of your graphics cards. So, if your GPU isn't all that strong, uh, realize that you might have performance drops here in the forms of uh, GPU-related frame rates. However, with that uh, disclaimer put out there, let me show you how to do this. So first things first, you're going to go to, uh, or you're going to need NVIDIA Inspector now. I just googled NVIDIA Inspector download and this was the first link. And if you scroll down here to the bottom, there are two download locations. It has been years since I downloaded NVIDIA Inspector, so I'm not sure if these links are good. I'm assuming they are, uh, and I'll put a link to this. I'll, I'll try and verify that these work and then put a link in the video description. Um, but uh, uh, if if you can't, if this doesn't work, I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. It's a very common piece of software. Essentially, NVIDIA Inspector is just a uh, software that uh, allows you to do overclock tweaks. I don't use it for that. It also gives you general information on your GPU. Uh, what you need to do is download it and then extract the files to a common location. You have to run the EXE from where it was extracted to along with the associated files. You can't run the EXE by itself in a vacuum. Uh, so what you're going to do is when this is installed, you're going to see uh, these various things to wherever uh, it was extracted. Sorry, not installed, extracted. And you'll run NVIDIA Inspector.exe. Once you're in there, you're going to need to click this little tool, tool tab here next to your driver version. And that'll pop up this menu here. Now, at the top of this, under Profiles, you need to click and you need to find Prepared uh, wherever it is. And once you select Prepared from this long list of games and applications, it will then show up right here under Home. Uh, it'll become a known uh, application. However, you first have to select it from this drop-down. So go to, to the prepared profile once you're in here. Now, you can use a frame rate limiter within NVIDIA Inspector. You're welcome to. Uh, you don't have to. For the anti-aliasing specifically, there are two things that you need to do. Under anti-aliasing mode, you need to set enhance, enhance application setting. And under anti-aliasing transparency supersampling, you need to set whatever you would like. 
I use four times sparse grid super sampling. You can try two times super sampling, four times super, etc., etc., all the way through sparse grid super sampling. I use four times sparse grid. That, for the most part, uh, gets rid of the aliasing. Um, but again, tread lightly because if you have a weaker GPU, uh, you're going to see a performance drop. The next thing that you need to do, and the last thing you need to do, is you need to take whatever uh, anti-aliasing setting you're using in NVIDIA Inspector, you need to match that within the simulator. So because I am using four times sparse grid super sampling, I match that with an MSAA setting of four. Now if you were using two times, you would use two in sim. If you were using eight times, you would use eight in sim. So you need these to match. The setting in NVIDIA Inspector needs to match the setting within the simulator. Uh, the third thing that I'll touch on, which I'm not familiar with, is DSR, Dynamic Super Resolution, I believe that stands for. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what that essentially does is it sets a massive resolution on your... Uh, <coughs> uh, or it basically scales it up so that there are more pixel pixels being projected on the screen. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, this is my understanding of it. And because there are more pixel, uh, there's greater pixel density, uh, you have less aliasing. Uh, that's that's something for those of you with high resolution monitors you'll notice that your sim looks better because of the fact that there are more pixels this is essentially kind of like some pseudo way to do that by proxy um, again I've just I've never really used this I've just briefly glanced at it if you wanted to do this research it independently I believe you need to go to NVIDIA control panel go to manage 3d settings uh, under global settings you need to set something with DSR factors and smoothness uh, apparently I messed around with this at some point but I no longer use this and then in change resolution resolution rather you do something in here again uh, I don't claim to understand exactly how this works or how to do it so if that interests you research it but um, given my lack of knowledge uh, with regard to it I don't want to say too much because I don't want to lead you in the wrong direction so fourth and final option and then we'll wrap up the video is to use FXAA. Now you can just turn it on here in the sim uh, <coughs> and use it like that. Also, if you have the PTA tool, which I'm sure many of you have seen my video on that, you can open PTA, you can go to FXAA, and then you can tune the FXAA quality. You can check this box. You can There's various presets, sharpness, contrast, threshold, etc. And you can tune FXAA to try and get it looking a little better. Now, why does this exist? That is the problem with FXAA. There has to be a catch, right? Uh, it really degrades the visual quality of the sim. It takes the edge off. Um, so, essentially, the sim does look softer, and you don't have these hard edges, you don't have as much aliasing. But at the same time, everything almost has a slightly blurry uh, aesthetic to it. Um, things look a little... They, they don't look as sharp, and quite frankly, I don't think they look as good. So, I know the majority of people do not use FXAA. However, if you're in a situation where your graphics card han can't handle four times sparse grid super sampling, but you just don't, uh, you can't live with the standard anti-aliasing in the sim, then this might be that middle ground where, yeah, you have to give something to get something. Um, so mess around with these four options. Again, option one, anti-aliasing out of the box in the simulator. Option two, NVIDIA Inspector, uh, enhancing the anti-aliasing in the sim using NVIDIA Inspector. Option three, DSR, not familiar with it. And option four, PTA. Uh, or, or, sorry, not PTA, FXAA, which you can then tune in using PTA. Um, so option one requires no explanation. You simply do it here in the simulator. Option two, you match uh, the setting in the simulator to your NVIDIA inspector setting, which I went over where to obtain this. There'll be a link in the description. You download it, you extract it, you run it from that wherever it was extracted to each and every time. You click on the profile there by the drivers to get into the nuts and bolts. You find prepared. You tweak anti-aliasing mode and anti-aliasing tra uh, transparency super sampling. DSR, I can't explain how to do that. Uh, and as far as FXAA, you enable it in the sim, and then you can tweak it with PTA. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, please ask. I'm more than happy to, uh, to answer. Uh, <coughs> if, uh, if I missed anything, please let me know. If I was incorrect in something I said, please correct me. Uh, I don't mind that whatsoever. I don't want to be giving out bad information. Uh, again, just a quick video here. I hope that this was helpful. I hope this is useful uh, in some way to you. And I will see you guys next time. So long.